Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. I'm here in Limsa Limensa Upper Decks <clears throat> at the Drowning Wench. About to talk to Tomokri, the Leave Mate. Uh, and we're going to take on Leave the Swift Perch. Tomokri is responsible for assigning guild leaves at the Drowning Wench and is offering to give you an introduction to the world of leave quests. Greetings, Hoodie. Vateron has been most effusive in his praise of your accomplishments. Have you considered putting your abilities to use for the Adventurer's Guild by undertaking a guild leave or two? Guild leaves are the means by which we document requests for assistance from the citizens re prior to assigning them to adventurers possessed of the necessary skills. From battlecraft leaves that require the extermination of monsters to trade, trade craft leaves that ask for the creation of goods, the tasks we term leave quests are many and varied in their nature. Should your interest be piqued, I suggest you make your way to Swift Perch and speak with Swigskiff. He will be happy to set your feet on the path to completing your first leaf quest. <clears throat> okay. Let's teleport over there. Luckily, I have this uh, teleport already. If you don't, you gotta run there. Alright, here we are. Hi, Swig Skiff. Greetings, lad. My name's Swig Skiff, and I'm in charge of assigning local leave quests here at Swift Perch. Tomokiri sent you my way, did she? Well then, let's get you started. Right after we see if you've got the brass to overcome the challenges you're likely to encounter around these parts. Take a look over the task outlined in this guild leave. You reckon you can handle it? Uh, yeah, yep. Good to hear. Now, Megalo crabs there like to run off to their mates when they're feeling overmatched. If you don't want to find yourself armpits deep in snippers, you'd best finish them off quickly. Open your journal under the duty finder in the main menu and begin the selected leave quest by pressing the initiate button. When a Megalo crab feels overmatched, it will flee the battle. If it reaches a certain distance, then the uh, another Megalo crab will appear. The leave quest objective can be more easily achieved by slaying the fleeing creature before it is joined by more of its kind. <sighs> okay, let's do it. So basically what you want to do is you want to go over to the green part and click on your quest and hit initiate and hit OK. And you can change this. Basically, it just uh, scales the level depending on what you set it at. So since this is a level 10 quest, leave quest, and I am level 12, it's recommending plus two levels. I'm just going to do that. And... I just explained the difficulty, so here we go. Um, let's get this guy. Hopefully, <clears throat> we can uh, kill it before it invites his friends. He's trying to run away. Nope. Oh. And once you finish a leave quest, it'll ask if you want to teleport back. I don't, because, I mean, it's right here. Um, so, run back. But it is helpful for leave quests that take you further away. Ooh, look at this chocobo. Hey, that's pretty. <clears throat> you seem to have had a little trouble, lad. Here's the reward for your efforts. A bonus has been awarded based on difficulty. A bonus has been awarded based on speed of completion. We got brass daggers, which we don't need because we're not a rogue. Um, but yeah, we got some gillen experience. I I reckon you'll do just fine the with the rest of me jobs, and there's always plenty to do here at Swift Perch. What with all the rebuilding and such, be sure to make yourself useful. Complete. Oh no, you have another leave quest for me. That's unfortunate. Well. Oh, you know what it is. I think it's, uh, I think I know what it is. Eh. Level 10. Yes, I do know what it is. Okay, anyway, that does it for this episode. Thanks for watching.